I'll be picking two to three winners in my next video for instant interstellar borealis or any camel or the nuke skin to enter. Just drop a sub with post notifications, drop a comment down below, and drop a like. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bubs here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys like a unlock all glitch kind of video. And in this video, it's gonna be everything XP, camels, free stuff, bundles, and all the good stuff. And you guys wanna use this as soon as possible because a lot of these things will be patched with the season 3 update that's coming out in about 3 to 2 days. Now let's try to get 325 likes on this video if you guys are hyped for season 3 and rebirth as well. I make this kind of video at the end of each season uh, or like a big update where we know a lot of things will be patched. So trust me, everything in this video, uh, at least 70 to 80% of the stuff will be patched. So use it as soon as possible. Trust me. That's why I'm making this video because I don't want you guys to miss out. Now first, let's show you guys a free bundle that you guys can get right now. All you guys want to do, you guys can get this for free. Otherwise, you guys would have to pay. You guys want to sign up for Prime Gaming uh, pretty much for free. You guys can do this for free. There's a trial that you guys can sign up for one month free. So you guys want to do that. And we've been doing this for so, so long now. And every time we get it free this way. So once you guys sign up for that, all you guys want to do is make sure you guys sign up for the trial. Of course, if you guys need a more in-depth way of how to get to Prime Gaming for absolutely free, for one month i'm gonna have a link down below so you guys can check that out i don't want to make this video already longer than what it is so you guys can uh, go look at that if you guys are confused after that you guys want to search up call of duty and then the free uh bundle is gonna pop up then you guys can claim it just make sure you guys this prime gaming thing is linked to your guys activision account so that way it does carry over so make sure it is linked and then you guys are done you guys have this bundle for absolutely free this used to be a bundle that you have to pay for but now you guys can get it for free this way if you guys are looking to get hard unlocks for the new Modern Warfare 3 Mastery Camels like Interstellar and Borealis uh, or play in bot lobbies where you guys can level up your guns and unlock camels very fast or even instant delivery on your guys' stuff, then check out Mitch Cactus. Their links are down below and they have over 10,000 reviews on Trustpilot and use code BUBS. Now put the locked weapons that you guys have and you guys want instantly or attachments as well. Uh, just put them in your guys' private match classes. From here, you guys want to back out, go over and hover over to the private match screen. Now like I said before, these steps are a little different as you guys will see. Now you guys want to add the second account, cancel it with the first one very, very fast. And now you guys want to press go offline and then go back online. And the account, if you guys, sorry, if you do it fast enough, it's going to glitch out and it's going to put you on this screen right here after pressing go online. Now, like I said before, it's glitching us out as you guys can see. This isn't supposed to happen. What you want to do is go over to private match. And for us, it was locked. For you guys, it might not be locked. If it's not locked, go into private match. And then it should kick you guys out to the main menu. For us, we didn't have to do that step. So we pretty much bypassed that step. And now you guys will see when we try to go out uh, into private match again, it's locked as you guys can see. And you guys saw our screen is buggy. It keeps saying loading player stats and all that good stuff. So if this happens right here and you guys don't have to do the step of going into private match then you guys can just go over to multiplayer and you guys will see that your private match classes are in your multiplayer classes and now you guys can save them as a custom mod and this way you guys can instantly unlock locked weapons on your guys's account like the new dlc weapons legit any dlc weapon that is uh, newly added you guys can get it and also this works for attachments as well now you guys can see look how long it's taking to load that's when you guys know that the glitch has been done right as you can see i was told that you guys can do this with the account that's not banned so you guys can try that way but i like i said before it's way harder to do because i've tested it with a banned account and then without a banned account i only got it working without a banned account very very few times and i was doing this testing for about four to five hours and it's way easier with a banned account only because the whole purpose of the glitch is pretty much to glitch on your screen like this where it says loading player stats uh, to do that, you guys have to do it very, very quickly, the steps. Otherwise, it won't work. With a band account, it just thinks that you guys are pretty much on that band account. So it just trips you up. So it goes back and forth with the account. So you guys can try with both accounts, one that's not banned and the one that is. If the one that isn't banned and that one doesn't work for you guys, then I do recommend doing it with a band account. It makes it way easier. After testing for a few hours, trust me, I can vouch for that. Here's us doing it with a banned account and like I said before, it's way easier if you guys do it like this. 
So just like before, equip the stuff that you guys want in your private match classes. From here, you guys want to back out, go over to the private match uh, screen option thing, hover over it like this, and then what you guys want to do is add the band account, so that second controller, and then cancel it with the first controller, and it's going to kick you guys off uh, to the screen right here. You guys want to press on retry, and with the controller one, you're doing this, and you guys quickly want to go over to custom games. As you guys can see, it's bugging us out. It just keeps saying loading player stats, but what you guys want to do is as fast as you guys can, quickly go over to private match. You guys want to do that fast. As you guys can see, once again, it's just glitching the screen out, and this is when you guys know you guys have done it right, and this is what I mean. It's way easier with a banned account. It makes your account way more glitchy. That's the whole purpose of this glitch. The first method that I showed you guys, it was a little slower with the uh, not the band account. So yeah, this is the other option that you guys can use if you have a band account. When you go into private match, it should kick you guys back to the main menu as you guys will see. So from here, what you guys wanna do is with controller one, you guys wanna quickly go back into uh, multiplayer and go over to your guys' classes and it should be the private match classes and you guys will be able to save them. Like again, it's glitching the screen out it just keeps saying loading player stats don't worry about that just go over to your multiplayer classes and it should be the private match classes and you guys will be able to save them now if they're not the private match classes you guys want to go over to your guys weapons stay there and it should glitch you guys out again and then the custom game classes will be there you guys can see we showed you guys earlier the classes that we did save and now you guys can save them as a custom mod All you guys need to do, if you guys just need normal zombie kill challenges for you guys' camos, what you want to do, only start up a Outlast contract in the tier 1 zone, that way it's way easier for you guys. Get the contract to 95% and then end it right away pretty much, like 95, 96, end it. And now all the zombies are going to spawn in that Outlast uh, area. And the zombie spawns are going to be way faster when you guys get it to this point. Before, you guys weren't even able to do it in a tier 1 Outlast contract, but now you guys can. I also recommend the tier 1 zone because the tombstone glitch was patched so that way you guys can carry in like pack a punch crystals and all that good stuff to pack a bunch of guns right away where you guys can go to higher threat zones. If you guys want you guys can combine this with the newer tombstone glitch. If you need to finish the camel challenge where you guys need to kill special or uh, elite zombies so like mimics and disciples all you guys need to do is go to a tier 2 outlast contract get it to 56% and uh, when you guys get it to 56, a special zombie will spawn in and then get it below to 54 and then go back into the zone, get it to 56 and each time you guys keep doing that and getting it to 56, a special zombie will spawn in and that way you guys can finish it very fast. Also with this, you guys are pretty much uh, finishing you guys' camel challenges for any zombies camel but alongside that, you guys will be getting unlimited zombie spawns and that's the glitch which means unlimited XP as well. Now on one account you guys need the stuff and sorry about the quality, I don't know why it's this bad but you guys can see these are all the bundles that we have. It doesn't work on every single bundle, only on some of them. So yeah, I think it only works on bundles that you guys can buy with real money but some of the bundles that were bought with COD points, people over on my Discord were saying that it also works with that sometimes but it's very random. All you want to do is make the account that has all the bundles or the bundle that you guys want to dupe over with the stuff as the home account on that console. From here, you guys can sign in to the other account, go over to my bundles, and now you guys can see some of the bundles are here from the other account. This account is pretty much new. It's only level 5 and we haven't logged onto it since the start of season 2 also. Now equip all the stuff, uh, for example the blueprints to your guys' favorite loadout and when you guys have it in your loadout, make sure you guys save it as a custom mod so you guys don't lose it. You guys saw that we equipped the operator skin, it didn't stick that time so sometimes you guys do have to go back to the bundle and then equip it again and you guys will see this time that it does work. Right here I'm just going to use a different bundle and you guys can see the operator skin sticked and now I'm going to go over to the other bundle that I actually wanted for the operator skin and we're going to Pretty much put that back onto our account and you guys will see that it does stick. All you guys need is a game capture. You guys can easily download OBS, especially on PC. You guys can easily get that. We did this on OBS. So what you want to do is go over to your game capture, click on filters, and then you guys want to add these two chroma keys. This one right here is for Interstellar and it also looks really good on Orion, Golden River. But once again, like I said, you guys can play around with what camels you guys have 
for your guys' needs and then also play around with the uh, filter settings as well. You guys can make it even cooler if you guys want, make it different filters, different colors. It's totally up to you guys, just play around with it. So pretty much the filter you guys are setting, it just depends on the camo. This one right here works perfectly for Orion and it also uh, pretty much 90% works for Interstellar as well. Another filter you guys can use mainly for polyatomic if you guys have that is this one right here. This one's also really awesome. I'll show you guys some footage later on, but you guys can copy this right here. Here's the normal Call of Duty setting. Now here's the rainbow effect that we need. Now to get this effect, all you guys need to do is go over to YouTube, download a rainbow effect thing like this as you guys can see in the background and just have it in your guys' sources. Now here's the uh, filter that we set ourselves on the key. Now it looks kind of weird. You guys can see the colors are different in the footage as well. Don't worry. When you guys have all the Call of Duty, the media source with the rainbow effect in the background and the code source, which is the filter that we set ourselves, it's going to look like this. Now this filter works perfectly with Interstellar and Orion because the uh, filter that we set matches those colors. So if you guys are going to use a different camo, uh, then you guys got to find the right filter settings. And it also looks really cool on the Golden River camo as well. The same settings work for that camo as well. And you guys can see, look how dope this looks. Now if you guys need these better looking camels like Interstellar to do this with, then like I said before, enter the giveaway. All you need to do is drop a sub and a comment down below and a like. I will be picking a few people in the upcoming videos. What you want to do is come to this part of the map right here and make sure you guys bring a vehicle like the one that you guys see on the screen. It has to be something like this one right here, like a LTV, which is bigger than usual. So it's not going to work with a smaller vehicle. Make sure it's a big one and then just come exactly right here. Park that vehicle on the left side of the rope exactly where it's positioned like us. From here, all you want to do is descend and then you guys want to move your character away from the car. But right when you guys are about to land down, you guys want to pretty much look into the car. So look towards the car. So right here, you guys want to pretty much use the analog stick to go away from the car. But right when you guys are about to land, you guys want to look at the vehicle like us. It is a little tricky, so it's going to take some practice. If you guys want, you guys can practice over in Plunder like you guys see us do. But we're just showing you in Plunder because it's just easier so no one shoots us. And then that's what you guys want to do. If done correctly, half of your legs are going to be in the ground. And then you guys want to turn exactly where we do, crouch, and then look exactly where we do. And then you guys want to pretty much just uh, prone down. So go fully prone. Right here, it's going to glitch you guys out like this. And you're going to be pretty much stuck in this animation like you guys can see. So like a free fall pretty much and with their parachute out. All you want to do is look to the right, right where we do. So right where we are. And then you guys just want to go forward in that position. And then it should let you guys parachute away. Parachute to the water. And from here, you guys can uh, pretty much uh, dive all the not dive, swim all the way up so you guys can breathe. Now it's very easy wherever the circle closes you guys want to go there so anytime you guys go away from the water it's gonna pretty much put you guys in a free fall position as you guys can see so to get back up all you need to do is glide over to the water and you guys can swim all the way back up and like i said before wherever the circle goes you guys just want to follow now there's pretty much water around the entire map so wherever the circle goes you guys can go as well just make sure you guys stay on the edge of the water like this so you guys don't go too far and then you guys can drown as well because you guys need this barrier right here to breathe so stay on the edge now if the circle goes away from the water and the circle isn't around the water anymore towards the end of the game you guys can get out it's very simple all you need to do is find a rock as you guys can see and then climb on top of it or you can find a vehicle on the map and just enter it I don't recommend killing a lot of players when you guys are under. Just stay alive here, go around the map and just stay alive as long as possible. Do not kill that many people because you guys can get reported. So to not get banned, do not kill that many players. Only do it if you guys have to. And I've been glitching for years now and I still haven't been banned. So they don't really ban you that much for glitches. That's on their end. Like I said before, I have all the nuke skin rewards, the camos, the skin, the charms, the stickers, all that good stuff, the calling cards, emblems, and I've actually used these glitches as well to get those 30 wins or 5 wins in a row to get that contract. So controller one is the account that has all the blueprints or the camos that you guys want. And you guys can see that right now uh, for us, you guys can see these are the camos and the blueprints that we're going to be transferring over with controller two, log it into the account that you want these stuff on. Now press X or A or whatever button to add it into the game and then press the back button with controller one for PSN is going to be circle. 
Now with controller 1, go over to local multiplayer. When you guys are here, you guys want to press X with the second controller to enter the account. Now with controller 1, go back and enter it into the game like you guys will see us do. Now with controller 2, press X again to enter that account. I'm going to slow down the footage right here. So once that controller 2 is added, with controller 1, return back to the main menu. On this main menu, press X with controller 2 and then press circle on controller 1 to bring up this message. As you guys will see on Xbox, it might be B. Now with controller 1, you guys want to go offline, go into local multiplayer. And when you guys are in there, you guys want to press triangle to create a match. Go over to weapons with controller 1. And then from here, all you guys want to do, here's where we bring in either the keyboard or controller 3. Launch controller 3 or keyboard and connect it to legit any account. It could be any random account, but make sure you guys have a friend on that third account that you guys can join on Call of Duty. Join the Bubs Discord down below if you guys need a friend to join for that step. Now with controller 3, you guys want to go over and you guys want to join a friend through this screen. So the main menu screen, even with Xbox, you guys can do that. So just join that player. Make sure his party is open so you guys can actually join. When this screen is here, with controller 2, press the back button for PS and it's going to be circle. And now with controller 2, you guys can enter onto the loadouts and you guys will see all the blueprints and the camos that you guys can bring over. So all the classes you guys want to use pretty much with the camos or blueprints. And this, we're pretty much using it mainly for camos as you guys can see in the title. So you guys can equip any blueprints like you guys can see us do. Or you guys can equip the weapon and then put the camo. And we're also going to be doing that right here, you guys can see. So our first account has Interstellar. It has a bunch of blueprints. And the second controller, which was the account we want all the stuff on, legit didn't have anything. It's a level 10 as you guys will see. So right now I'm just going to add a bunch of classes so you guys can do that as well. It doesn't really matter. You guys can add 10, 12, as many as you guys want. Now, after you guys are done with that, controller 2, go back to the main menu. Now with controller 2 again from the main menu, press X. Now with this message, press the circle button on controller 2 or the back button and then press X twice. Now you guys can go over into private match and you guys will see all the classes that you guys put in the local multiplayer via the glitch. And also you guys can see the account is level 10 so it's legit no possible way we could have this stuff without this glitch. If you want to know how to save these weapons then use the instant unlock glitch that I showed earlier in the video. That was the second part of the video. So pretty much all you guys need for instant right here, we do not have any grenade skins, but we do have a throwing knife skin. It depends on how many skins you guys have. So we only have one right here, so it's only going to work with the first grenade skin. If we use the second uh, skin of the throwing knife, then it would work with the uh, second skin of the grenade. All you have to do is equip that skin of the throwing knife. Once you equip it, you guys want to put on this engineer vest. And after that, you guys want to change the vest back to this one right here. Now you guys will see that we have this grenade skin equipped, even though it's fully locked. And like I said before, this can work with any lethal that you guys want but you guys just need to have a skin of some sort with the other one and uh, most likely it might even work with uh, tacticals as well so if you guys get it working for tacticals please let me know down below What we're going to be doing is connecting your controller, which is really, really easy to do. When we connect the controller, you guys will automatically be 100 times better than every other player because you're going to have such a advantage. So legit, it's going to be like a lobby and private match, normal Modern Warfare 3 private match, but against bots. And you guys will see me playing with the controller in these lobbies and you guys will see all the other players are legit shitters. Now to connect to your controller if you're on PSN, all you guys want to do is hold the home button and the share button as you guys can see. Then the controller is going to start flashing and then you guys want to go over to your guys' Bluetooth over in settings and you guys want to select the controller and now it's going to be connected. Now you guys can go back into Warzone Mobile, go over to multiplayer and you guys won't be able to use the controller on the main menu which is why I think this is kind of like a glitch. I don't think they're, they don't want you to be using the controller pretty much. So you guys can't use the controller in the main menu but when you guys go into the game you guys will be able to use it so don't worry about that. Now from here you guys want to play the game normally especially with a controller you guys will be insane you guys are going to be way better than every other player and you guys will see that in this footage i'm like legit killing these players and they have no chance of killing me so legit they're even worse than bots now what you guys can do to take this a step further is you guys can connect your guys's phone to your tv 
Now that just makes it even 10 times better. So uh, let's get straight into it. So what you guys want to do, the fastest way to do it is over in zombies. You guys want to equip the crossbow or you guys can equip the purifier attachment on, on your guys' weapon. And then the second weapon you guys want is the haymaker. And then make sure you guys have a throwing knife equipped as well. And also make sure you guys have speed cola in your backpack. You guys can create that. Most likely everyone should have that. And after that, you guys want to start up the game. Now from here, all you guys want to do is get a outlast contract in the tier 1 zone. Now once you guys have that, get it to 90 5% and cancel the contract now from here you guys just want to farm the kills like you guys see me do with the haymaker the crossbow or whatever or the purifier and also the throwing knife as well now with the throwing knife when you guys throw it at zombies and kill them make sure you guys go collect it back as well if there's a ammo crate like I have one next to my outlast contract then that's perfect as well and now you guys can complete these three in a matter of about what 10 minutes 15 minutes it's very easy to do and you guys will see on the screen right here I got all these challenges done really fast now after you guys complete those three what you guys want to do is with the money you guys got go over to the tier 2 zone go to a buy station and buy a sentry gun now from here you guys want to go and pretty much exfil go to an exfil zone and call in the exfil thing the marker and then put your sentry gun down and just uh, train these zombies and you guys will easily get 25 kills with that sentry gun and that fourth challenge is also done now what I did was exfil and then get the SMG later on in the next match but what you guys can also do is get the smg the same match now when you guys uh, are on the last challenge with the smg getting uh, i think 15 kills so 15 special zombie kills with the smg what you guys want to do is go over to the tier 2 zone get it outlast contract and then get it to 56 percent when you get to 56 a special zombie will spawn in get it back to 54 and then go back in get it to 56 and every time you guys do that and get it to 56 a special zombie will spawn in so get about 15 20 special zombies spawned in and then mow them down and you guys can complete that as well now those five event challenges are done and now you guys have the camo unlocked and i did this personally and it's the fastest way to do it i got this all done in a matter of 25 minutes using these glitches So for this one, uh, you guys will not need a Scorcher, so it's the brand new way. All you guys need is 1000 Essence. Now have all the stuff you guys want to duplicate in your guys' tombstone, legit it can be anything. And then from here, make sure you guys go drink tombstone, you guys can bring it in, or you guys can go buy, it doesn't really matter. Now you guys will need 1000 Essence, you guys want to come over by the Act 4 portal, and right here, you guys want to go through this building and go up here, and you guys will see that this thing pops up. You guys want to shoot these three symbols to activate this portal, and then quickly go over to the Act 4 uh, mission portal. Make sure you guys stay a little back when activating this portal. Now you guys want to run through it and activate it at the last second. Make sure you guys have your fist out so you guys can run to that portal that you guys just activated with the 1000 essence. And make sure you guys do have your fist out so you get there quickly of course. And then you guys want to go through it. It's going to teleport you guys right here if you guys uh, shot the correct symbols and then run exactly where I do. Towards the out of bound area and when the act mission is at 2 seconds, uh, make sure you guys uh, click on yes. You want to press yes to activate the mission. Now when you guys are in the out of bounds area, just stay there until it puts you guys through the portal like this. Now when you guys get to the black screen, you guys want to close your guys' application. It doesn't matter if you're on PSN, Xbox, or PC. It doesn't really matter. Just close your guys' application when that black screen pops up after the portal animation. Now you guys can go back into your guys' zombies backpack, your rucksack, and you guys will see all the items are duplicated there. And your guys' tombstone for the next game is going to be over by the graveyard. Now from here, you guys can rinse and repeat that. You guys can do this without needing no scorcher or anything at all. So this is the brand new way to do it so i really hope you guys enjoyed it to repeat this again all you guys need is 1000 essence and make sure you guys do drink tombstone every single time when you do it the next game make sure you guys go over to the graveyard and crumble your guys's tombstone to do the glitch again otherwise it won't work make sure you guys do crumble it 
this will be my last video before season three and i just want to show you guys all the glitches that work right now that you guys can use as well before they do get patched because like i said before at least 70 to 80 percent of these always get patched with when a new season comes out sorry so yeah titty smack the subscribe button we're on the road to 150,000 subscribers and that would up a ton make sure you guys drop a like if any of these glitches helped you guys and if you guys need help with any of the glitches join the discord down below that says bubs discord uh, i will try my best to help you or others will help you as well follow me on ig and twitter all those links will be down below share this video with all your friends and family and this has been your boy bubs and i'm out peace